again, can you explain why we are wearing hijab? So immediately come to your mind, this is a, probably a woman who is not, but she said, no, when I get asked, I can't answer, I am wearing hijab, because I'm told by Allah. This statement, it needs to be framed. And then she said, sometimes I feel, yes, I understand, but why should we wear modest, and why I need to cover the hair, um, specifically the hair? So let's start by the, the beginning. We as Muslims, and, and I really appreciate what uh, Sheikh Suleiman has been saying and uh, Dr. Hakim is saying, is basically we need to go to literally to the basics. I always say this to myself before anyone. Why I am here on this earth? This is the first question. Why did he put us here? What does he want from me where I am going? So why I am here, right, as a human being, worship Allah, loves Allah, knows Allah, you all know this. So come to the hijab. Number one, he told me. This is the first line. He said so. They said, we hear and we obey. And all of us, men and women, brothers and sisters, we need to get to this point where the first reason is because he told me. And who is he? Who is he needs a whole lecture, a whole conference. Is not anybody else. Is not my friend. Is not my neighbor. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My creator, my beloved, the one who gave me everything, the one who sees me, the one who I beg him when I need something, the one who I'm going to stand in front of him, let alone the one who will decide where I'm going at the end. So that's number one. Number two, come, you put it in your question, the modesty. I call Islam, of course I have to bring things from my profession, is a religion of prevention, is not a religion of treatment, meaning in medicine, why did we get the, va the, the COVID vaccine? So we can be here today and we are not wearing masks. That's prevention. Otherwise, we're going to be still, Allah knows for how long. Islam looks at society. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows us, knows what we have. فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا Allah, when he created us, give, gave us the ability or not the inclination to do good and to do bad. He knows what our inclination will be. What's the prevention? We need Allah want when he looks at us, he wants this earth, his creations, to live in decency, to live with a moral conduct, to live in the way to please him, to live to flourish this earth, coming to the hijab. Look at the opposite. And I don't have to explain. Look at society around us, where the hijab is even not there. Modesty is not there. Again, I'm in the professional world, and I see it every day. Where are we ending? Where are we ending? Right? And look at the time of Rasul, right? For 10 years, if not 13 years, there's only two recorded cases, if not a three, of and again, la haya afiddin, of intimate relationship outside marriage. Isn't that amazing? This is the human beings. They are the same because they had the, the morality in them and they know Allah said no. And all the beginnings and at the end, as Rasul said, al aynu tazni wal udnu tazni, that the eyes commit zina. And the ear commit prevention. Part of the prevention is the dress code of the woman. The dress code of the woman. Allah created us in a way that the woman is beautiful and the men get attracted to the woman. That's natural. That's his creation. To, to save the earth so we can have children and continue. And at the same time, he said, don't show it except in the proper channels. That's basically what it is. Hijab is to cover the hair because it's one of the most beautiful parts of the woman. Cover. I always ask, what will you lose when you cover your hair? What will you lose? Wallahi nothing. If anything, respect. Wallahi allahu. Respect. They, they look at you as a woman. They look at you as a human being. They respect you more. And why not? Why not? I think we need to little bit take time, pull back, don't be influenced by what you are seeing, all the junk that they're outside. And just think of it. 
And in of it, Allah told me, I'm pleasing him, it's protecting me, I am being more respected. I can tell you stories from now till tomorrow morning. Just do it, modest protection, save humanity and save morality.